Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mighty Number no. 9. Today we are going to Wreck Battalion's Day. Professor? Back! Hurry up and get here already! There's no one to joke around with and I'm so bored! Maybe I'll just freeze over the whole base while I wait. Cool? It's no way. I see. Really? Mighty Actual five, ice puns. Has fled to this abandoned military installation. Purpose unknown. Thank you, you so much. All set. Oh, that was worth every penny. System ready. Go. All right. What is this place? A military base they shut down years ago. It, it should be all but empty inside. I waited until the very moment that turret started to fire. I'm good at video games. Here we go. Oh dear. Oh wow, I just dropped a bunch of frames for some reason. What in the Sam Hill? Those are clearly military bots. It should have been scrapped as part of the disarmament. Who was that all a government ruse? Then that means that back. I needed that. I like how there's... I have it on good authority that entertainment bots are why all these guys are highly dangerous weaponized dudes. And... There's been a disarmament, so literally everything is all about Coliseums or whatever. I don't know. I'm not going to question the story of this game too much. There's some other pithy observation I thought I had. That was a fair amount of story. Oh, no. Oh, I broke the combo. That's kind of the problem. Like, the same as a little bit happened in Mighty Gunvolt Burst. You would accidentally shoot something too far away and kill it and break your combo. Hi, Cryosphere. That was silly. I probably don't want to touch those spikes. Actually, back shots do go all the way across the screen, unlike most Mega Mans. I need to play some more Mega Man someday. Well, I knew the instant I did it that I was about to go in there. But yeah, after I've gotten the hang of the levels, the Mighty Number no. 9 levels are actually... I don't know if they're excellently designed, per se. They are fun to move through. And to get... See? The game told me I was great. And some days, especially when you're me, you just need that. Come on. Ah! Oh, it only takes one hit. That's nice. Well, see? I can't wait for these guys to become unstunned or whatever. Maybe, maybe not. Just gonna stay there forever? I guess so. 10%! Good! Wow! I, I thought I turned. Okay. As I was trying to say before I discovered that there's a Game Over's achievement... The way the game plays is actually pretty nice. I think I made a really dumb joke about the other blue guy that everybody loves. I.e. Sonic. And, like, Dex back. Dex dash move. Actually... Remember Guts, man? Good times. Anyway. This is a little nuts. But, like, the combo system and the fact you get Sprinter and just this move, like, 
lend the series a sense of speed, or the game a sense of speed. And like, that's not a Mega Man thing, but I still think it's a decent thing. The mixing of the Mega Man style bosses in there don't compensate, it's a problem. I don't know what to say about Will. Of course, Cryo is apparently a baby. I don't know. Even though she's mighty number two. As Pyrogen so helpfully pointed out last time. Aw, oh, come on. With this hilarious poop joke. Like, there were some jokes in Ukulele that I felt. The off-color wasn't really... Ooh, this is... Oh, I have an Excel heal. What am I doing? X Excel? Not exactly sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. Oh, did you see that Sniper Joe's head turn around during his idle frame? That was interesting. And I'm glad there weren't any conveyor belt puzzles like this in Mighty Gunvolt Burst, because this isn't really a puzzle, I guess. Uh, what? Huh? Yeah, jump into the spikes. That was the answer. I'm supposed to jump on the crate when it falls down, I bet. And then explode that thing, and then... That's more like this may be the level I do the most before I get to the boss. Wow. I don't have words. I'm sorry. Game over. That's my words. See, see you later. Okay, let's not screw it up this time. Yeah. I also probably could have used one of my abilities, but that would have saved me. I do have to say that I feel like... Oh, hey. Aw, oh, damn, I can't... It's not gonna let me. Oh, it will, maybe. Except I can't get high enough. Oh, well, some other time, then. It's probably a life up there. I guess I'll find out! And lives... <sighs> lives require very tight design, I feel like. And most, pe most game developers would be better served by just going with checkpoints. They're much more forgiving. It doesn't make the player feel as yuck. Like, they can just try over and over again without having to do the earlier parts of the level. And you don't have to design those earlier parts of the level to be thoroughly... What's the term I'm looking for? That is life. And another thing, I'm not sure what it is, and I didn't get my combo off that guy, but whatever. I landed on a mine and exploded. Whatever, I'm fine with that. What do I do about these? That's an answer. I can fly. You got guts, Maggot. I'll give you that. You're too late. But yeah, you like... I guess really... Maybe hmm. these level levels do do alright in that regard. Wow. I don't know what to say to this amazing plot twist. That life was very much appreciated. Huh. I feel like I want to go back this way and see... Oh, hello. Hmm. Was there a box there that I exploded? Maybe so. Whatever, I don't want to spend the life to find out. Like, I don't know, I think you can get away with a lot more sloppiness. Speaking of sloppiness, you can get away with a lot more sloppiness if you have checkpoints. You're not gonna frustrate people, you're not gonna make it... You got guts, Maggot. I'll give you that. I don't want to say unplayable. Make it more playable. Okay, ah, oh, I did blow it up. Yeah, that guy was gonna push it where I wanted it to be, and... Oh, well. Respawning lives, like in some of your Mario. It's also a nice little trick. If you have a particularly difficult location, just have a life that you can pick up every time. And lives, you have to get over and over. Like, they're only there once in this game. That reminds me of Zelda 2. 
and how it handled lives, which you can only pick them up once per playthrough, and that was a long game. If I remember it being long, it might actually be. The old NES games sometimes feel a lot longer than they really were. That is instant death down there. I don't want to be on the lower path here. Oh, but I am. Oh well. Well, huh. I guess it didn't matter that much in the end. Looks like we're going to mighty number four, Mr. Battalion. So, Maggot, you crawled all the way here. What is your major malfunction, Private Beck? Why would you try and stop this glorious war? Fighting is in our programming. It's in our circuits. It's what we were made for. Battle is our destiny! Battalion is my favorite now. Oh, right, I should probably switch. I'm Mega Man, remember? Oh, crap. Okay, this is not Cryo. This is Cryo. I didn't push the buttons right. Anyway, I love his voice. I love the thing he's doing. I love how completely ridiculous he looks. Like, he's just a bunch of guns strapped together. How could you get a more amazing robot? I'm out of... Okay, I'm not out of juice. Evidently, you recover some juice when you... Uh-oh. I remember this move. Okay, we just have to Mega Buster this. We'll be fine. This is fine. Nothing to worry about here. Did I get juice back? A very tiny amount of juice. Oh, that's his name. They're calling him back. Oh, geez, that, that was a big explosion. Oh, am I gonna kill him on the first try? It doesn't look like it. Yep, I've just... Oh. Oh, God, I just love Battalion so much. He's just a bunch of guns strapped together. I think I, I think I can handle it this time. Yeah, we know. But I almost want to listen to it again, but I'm not gonna... I don't want to make people... I don't want to be too repetitive. Maybe don't miss Owen. Okay. This is... You weak again? Yes. Oh. Come on. Step out of it. Now. I love the military base. My army. The war must be stopped, Private Beck. Mission. Italian may be my favorite robot now, just all over, all around. And the boss fight was a little too easy, I feel like, but. Whatever. Mighty Hoarder. I, I don't know what that means. I can shoot missiles now? I guess we'll find out in the tips. What should... Attention. Yeah, yeah, new tips. Thank new... you, Cole. Let's see. Hold down the attack button to send a cannon shell flying forward. Release the button to detonate it. Damage from the explosion will linger in the detonation area for a short time, just like in my mighty gun bolt bursts. The shell will stay attached to enemies or terrain until it is detonated. Take advantage to land some well-timed attacks. The shell will detonate automatically after a certain distance or if the object it's attached to becomes destroyed. If you release the attack button immediately after firing, the shell won't detonate until you press the attack button again. The explosive power doesn't change, so use this to your advantage. Certain objects can only be destroyed with this attack. Increased attack, greater explosion area, less energy use. Anyway, that has been... Configure, oh god, what episode is it? It will be epi this you was episode 5 of Let's Play Mighty, Mighty Number 9. I will see you guys next time where we fight... Seismic is his name? The, the, the drill guy. See ya!